Prince Harry willing to let Meghan Markle not live off cancer to avoid costly divorce. Prince Charles happy was Prince Harry prepared to let his wife Meghan Markle die of liver cancer as a way to avoid a costly divorce. That bizarre tale on one tabloid spun last year. Gossip Corp didn't have enough information to take on the story at that time, but time has made certain claims made in the story easy to disapprove. The Globe, of course, is the shameful tabloid behind this rumor. The outlet published an article early last year claiming Meghan Markle had been given secretly seven months left to live by doctors after a liver cancer diagnosis. According to a high-level royal source who spoke anonymously to the publication, Meghan Markle had been riding high since undergoing an experimental treatment to cure a vague liver problem. Meghan Markle felt more sure than ever that her lifelong dream of taking the throne beside Prince Harry would come true. Then Prince Charles allegedly ordered Prince Harry cut out of succession to the throne, appointing Prince William and his wife Kate in his place. In December, after Prince William supposedly revealed evidence that proved that Prince Harry was not good for the royal family after the Brexit, yes, this story went there. Around the same time, Meghan Markle received the bad news that her liver problems were back, and this time it was cancer. As a result, this tabloid and its unnamed, unverified source would have its readers believe that a desperate Meghan Markle threatened Prince Harry with both 450 million US dollars divorce and a vow to expose the royal's dirty secrets if she is not made the next queen. It seemed as if Meghan Markle Hail Mary play came back to bite her since what Meghan Markle needed most was a liver transplant and now Prince Harry was refusing to use his influence as a member of the firm to bump her up the transplant list. He says it would be a public relations disaster if the royals were seen to steal a liver from a desperate young person. But the chilling truth is Meghan Markle cancer is the answer to Prince Harry's prayers. The so-called source went on to claim Prince Harry was ordered AIDS to delay all divorce negotiations, shockingly hoping the cancer kills her before he pays her a penny. Despite the fact that her husband was refusing to come to a raid, Meghan Markle was still determined to get away even if that means spilling everything she knew about the royal family's private affairs. Apparently, Meghan Markle has enough ammunition to destroy Prince Harry and his royal relatives from the truth about Chelsea Davy love to Prince Harry's cross-dressing and affairs with women and men. If a tabloid like the Globe already had this information and it hasn't destroyed the royal family yet, what would be the point of Meghan Markle releasing this information. This article just got more and more ridiculous the further it went. Why would Meghan Markle threaten to divorce Prince Harry if her end goal was to be the best woman in the history of the royal family? Doesn't that sort of defeat the purpose? Then there is a bizarre claim that Prince Harry was somewhat involved in Chelsea Davy accident, an outright conspiracy theory that the outlet gives zero proof to back up because it has no proof to give. Tabloids often hide behind made-up sources to spread their disinformation because it's understood if the outlet itself were to make those claims it will lead to never-ending lawsuits so the more shameful publications claim sources said the inflammatory statements that way it has a bit of reasonable deniability that's exactly what happened with this story absolutely zero reputable outlets have reported that Meghan Markle suffers from any sort of liver malady, much less cancer. Gossip Corp search for any media mention of Meghan Markle undergoing cancer or other medical treatment for a liver and could find nothing. It's shocking that any outlet, even one as ridiculous as the Globe, has been time and time again would stoop so low to make up a diagnosis, especially fatal one. Meghan Markle didn't have liver cancer, nor she was given seven months to live, which is evidenced in the fact that the Duchess of Sussex is still alive and well. Prince Harry was never planning to let his wife die as a cruel way to save money in a divorce, which Meghan Markle likely never asked for in the first place. If the outlet was willing to make up a supposedly fatal illness, why stop there? Also because it never hurts to point this out. Prince Harry will not be the next King of England, Prince Charles doesn't control the line of succession to the throne. The UK Parliament does, Prince William is the heir apparent and Prince Harry is second in line to the throne. But the only way he would ever become King before his father is if Prince William dies or abdicates the throne for whatever reason. Prince William actually has more control over who the next King is than the Queen. 
It's no surprise that The Globe would publish a story so embarrassingly false. Last year, the outlet reported that Prince Charles had ordered Prince Harry to divorce Meghan Markle. That was terribly false. Gossip Corp discovered this was also the same publication that made the truly unhinged claim that Princess Diana's secret daughter had come out of the hiding to warn Meghan Markle about Prince Charles. Honestly, it seems like this tabloid prints more fiction than the truth.